Hey roadies, it's your host, the Gauche with the Most. We've had some time to visit our local library and also work through some deep emotional trauma. And now, it's time to continue wandering around the mansion. Let's see how fast we can ruin our new friendship on this episode of Pocket Mirror. I guess let's just start at one side and then kind of figure it out from there. It's a really shiny pumpkin. Wow, you have 59 charms. Good for you. Oh, it's counting. I wasn't sure how those were important. Hey there, little girl. Would you be interested in a quiz? Get everything right, and I might give you a reward. Yeah, sure, you know, why not? All right, all right. why not? Why does this protag, why do you keep mimicking me? Choose a subject. Um, mathematics. I'm probably better at that anyway. What is the solution to this equation? Uh, 2x plus 4 equals 10. So, yeah. x equals 3? Congratulations, here's your reward. Pumpkin charms. Oh, nice. Quite smart, aren't you? Oh. Why is that worrying? Poems for the Heart, Prose for the Mind by Michael Johan. I can't look at the desk. Oh, there we are. It's a journal with some doodles, but there's something here. I prefer silence to playing piano. I prefer it over the sound of my tutor's voice, brother's voice, father's voice. Mother's voice I've never heard, although I was told it used to be loving and gentle. My own voice, however, is the one I hate the most. Creepy. I have 61 charms now. The journals and doodles. Oh, what? Yeah, just doing that again? Okay. An eye? Didn't we see an eye like that somewhere before? A lot of volumes of books on these shelves. Volumes of books. Same thing. Three of five. There's a picture here too. Uh. So we lost mother. I didn't realize we lost brother too. not like one of them regular circles, it's like a freaky dicky circle. Oh, I've been hitting the booze a little hard. Forced out of its tube, chunky red paint flows freely onto the floor, staining the wooden tiles. Oh, never mind, it was just paint. Uh, is that German? I don't know, but that girl's definitely having some problem with her eyes there. Various canvases. Various canvas. I feel like there should be canvases. Maybe canvas is plural for canvas? I don't know. Dear, dear, dear. Rest against each other. Tightly organized against the wall. Crimson waters, 1523. A lonesome vessel sails the calm crimson seas as if awaiting a new storm. And pumpkin charms. Wait a second. Theory. Maybe these are just coincidental. Hmm. Oh, good terms. This canvas is blank. Various utensils lay on the work table, seemingly ready to be used. should go with Harpe. I thought I was. I'm the one that got lost in the freaky deaky circle, I guess. Ah. 
Heck yeah, pumpkin charms. Heck yeah, pumpkin charms. Alright, let's go further down here, I guess. Creepy candle corridor. Carpe, where'd you go? When you're walking through the moonlight on the highway. Oh, wait. Is there gonna be a skeleton boy show up here in a second? <laughs> oh, can I play the record here? Oh, no, I guess not. How about here? Nope. I think that was a pathway, but I guess we just walk straight. Harpe? <laughs> I apologize, my girl. It seems I've gotten a bit ahead of you. Oh no, that's alright. I was just wondering why you were in a dark, shadowy outline for your character figure. And where you'd gone to. I see. It wasn't my intention to worry you. Harpe, where are we? Tell me, miss. What is it? Do you remember this dresser? Mm, nope, never seen it before. No? I see. Here, take a seat. Harpe, there's creepy floating mirrors all around me. Yes? Is this dresser something I should recognize? No, not necessarily. I asked you out of curiosity, nothing less. But, but if you ask me that, then... Miss? <laughs> ah, yes? It is fine if you don't want me to, but may I brush your hair? My hair? Yes, it's... It is something I have been wanting to do for a long time now. Maybe, maybe this is like the motherly personality, and maybe it's not just like the the gentle, kind mother personality. Maybe it's like that that overbearing. I don't know. Hmm. This is interesting. We'll see. Yes, yes, of course you can. Thank you, my girl. I am deeply grateful. Well then, could you please pass me the hairbrush? Ah, yes. Golden. This comb, that's a brush. This comb is so fancy, Harpe. Is it really yours? Are you calling her poor? Yes, it is. It was once given to me as a present for my family. Hmm. I see. This might sound funny to you, but I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Perhaps your memories may be coming back. Is this about the picture in the library with my creepy face? Harpe? Yes, what is it, my girl? Can you please tell me a bit more about myself? I can tell you about what I know. Unfortunately, it isn't much, but I hope it will satisfy you. Anything will do. I mean, sorry. Please, don't apologize. I understand your need to know, my girl. But could you please hand me the comb first? Ah, I'm so sorry, Harpe. Don't worry, miss. Now please, sit up straight and place your hands on your lap. Oh, yes. Just like that. We don't want your beautiful long hair to get tangled now, do we? Thank you, Harpe, for combing my hair. It's been in an awful mess since I dug my way out of that dungeon with the marbles and fought my way through a bunny-filled ballroom and avoided giant guards trying to kill me and all kinds of fun stuff. 
There's no need to thank me, girl, and you've had quite the adventure, holy crap. I was the one who asked you if I could in the first place anyway. You are a very sweet individual, miss. Although, you may have a few difficulties regarding some circumstances. What do you mean? You need to have more faith in yourself. You have come this far thanks to your own effort, so it is time to start believing in your capabilities. I guess you're right. You may not think of yourself as such, but you truly are a very diligent person. No one but you knows what hurdles you have surpassed in your journey, as well as your goals, your fears, and even your own strength. Arpe. It is time you start pulling yourself together, my girl. No more hesitating. No more doubts. You must carry out your duty, regardless of the means and the mirrors, regardless of the consequences and the scissor murders. Arpe? Enough running away. It is easy to lose yourself in your path, and even I, even I am nothing more than a cruel misunderstanding. Arpe, but you are different. You are more than your mistakes, you are more than your fears, you are more than your duties. It is time to let go, my girl, evil eyes. You must give in, and you must lose control, and never mind your fears. I will be with you, and I will protect you. Arpe, what's going on? Oh. You are safe with me. Is that my name? Is that what that is? Oh. Said the spider to the fly. Okay, let's, so let's try not going with her. I'm still a bit tired. Can I stay here and rest a little longer? <laughs> that is all right. I don't mind. I'll get you later. I won't take long, so please be sure to take a good rest. <laughs> yes, thank you, Harpe. I saw what you did to me in the other timeline. All right, let's go the opposite way. It didn't let us go this way last time. You. You're the creepy one that I saw with the fingers. You finally come to me. Who, who are you? <laughs> I'm the reverse flesh. I mean, reverse you. I've been waiting for you, Angel. Angel? My name? What? What do you mean? Uh, oh, she's dumb. I wasn't expecting you to forget about me this quickly. Is my name in gel? Yes, it is. But then, who are you, anti in gel? In gel, the cherubina of shed wings. I am you, Angel. It's a shame you can't remember me. Yep, nope. You see, we have a special connection, being the same person and all. Like petals from the same flower, or so I would say. Okay. You are me, Angel. And I am you. So is this the real reflection of me? Like all personalities, maybe? How? It was my role to find you. And now that I did, it's your role to complete me. Ah, see, am I a piece of her? Also, I just noticed her figure is missing the finger, so that was... That was the finger from the beginning. Which would tie into my theory, because then I'm just a finger of her. Hmm. Interesting. 
concerned. We don't have much time, but please listen to me. What are you talking about? It's time for us to be reunited, Angel. They've always tried to tear us apart, but now I have finally found you. Wait. Miss, where are you? You have to come to me. I am waiting for you on the other side of the mirror. Wait. You are not alone, Angel. I will always stay with you from now on. Every time you need me, just knock three times on a mirror and I'll come to you. Also, you have to say Bloody Mary. Wait, Angel. Please, you have to trust me. And please, promise me you'll be careful. He's still out there looking for you. Wait, who are you talking about? Not the crazy scissor chick. I'll be waiting for you, Angel. Um, there's not a door there now. Where have you been? Harpe, I'm sorry, I just... I got into this room and... Creepy. Haven't I told you not to wander by yourself? You could have gotten hurt. I... Harpe... There's no helping it, is there? I'm sorry I yelled at you, miss. Harpe. Is everything alright? Was there always a big painting in this room? A painting? No, there isn't. What's the matter, miss? You don't seem too well. I... It's a creepy painting. Yes, what is it? Arpe, is my name in gel? Dark eyes. I'm sorry. What did you say? I, I just, you just what? Wanted to find out my own name? What did you do? Who told you that? Arpe, I just, I don't want to hear any more excuses from you. Yes, mother. Listen, my girl. Lies won't take you anywhere in this place. Enough is enough, and it's time you face the consequences of your own acts. Playing house will not make everything better. Hiding won't make you invisible, miss. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I got a bit carried away. I apologize. Harpe, I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. Flood is gone, and now I met that strange girl, and I... Who did you meet? She said my name was Inch... Why are we telling her all this? And that she was me. Your name is not Angel, miss. It's not? I'm I'm question mark still? No, it is not. But she that is enough. Okay. You mustn't meet this girl ever again. You mustn't trust her, no matter what she says. But why? Listen, miss. I need you to listen carefully. As I told you before, I can't tell you your name, and I can't tell you who you are or what you should do from now on. However, I can protect you from whoever is trying to hurt you. Was Fleta trying to hurt me? I don't know, miss. Okay. All I know is that you mustn't trust anyone but yourself, including you. Do you understand? No. I don't understand the situation at all. I see. Shall I leave you on your own then? What? I am asking you 
If you're going to walk away from this situation, you don't understand. Um, maybe? Why are you here, miss? What have you come here to do? Apparently cause havoc and chaos wherever I go. I, I don't know. I don't know. What does that tell us, then? Didn't you want to know who you are, what your name is, and what you're supposed to do? Uh, kinda. I thought I knew it a second ago, though. Are you just going to give all of that up? Harpe, I refuse to protect someone who has no will to thrive, miss. That is no longer my role. I... I'm sorry, Harpe. I don't need your apologies. <laughs> no. Oh, huh. you rejected my apology. That's the worst Canadian act I could ever think of. I mean it. I I understand what you're saying, Harpe. I do want to know who I am and what I'm doing here. Hmm. Please forgive me. I ended up pressuring you when it wasn't my intention. No, you're right, Harpe. I can't simply give up. I'm glad you understand, miss. I need you to trust me. Silence. And I need you to stay true to yourself. That is the only way you will ever find the answers to your questions. That is what I've always been trying to tell you. Oh, I, I slipped the always in there. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I went overboard. No, it's alright. I don't think you're trying to hurt me, heart bit. Well, minus that whole blindness bit on the other end. Oh... Thank you, miss. Thank you for trusting me. Harpe? <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. Come sit down in my parlor in front of the dresser while I brush your hair. I'm just feeling a bit overjoyed, that's all. But anyway, I got the button we needed to fix your coat. <laughs> Thank you, Harpe. You're welcome, my girl. <laughs> it is done. Thank you, Harpe. You're welcome, miss. Well then, shall we go? Go where? I need to take you to a safe place. We can't stay here forever now, can we? <laughs> oh, I see. Let us hurry. Uh-oh. Are you going to take me back there anyway? Creepy painting of two things conjoined. Is something the matter? Oh, I... I'm sorry, I was just... Come now, my girl. You mustn't dawdle. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, actually, let's go back down to the library. There is a secret I share with Mother. A secret you and Father pretend not to know about but are well aware of its consequences. I'm intending to take it with me to the grave when the time comes, however, unlike Mother, I will take his hand with full commitment, and not regret leaving you in that man's hands. Perhaps he so wishes we able to meet again someday, my dear sister. Hmm. Not sure about that. Nah, I learned my lesson from following you last time. Knew it. Mr. Pumpkin? Hello? Maybe it's just a lamp. Been talking to Pumpkin so long, I kind of forgot. Are you a lamp too? Okay. Ooh, what's that? The Kind Poet, 1742. The painting of a man wearing a feathered hat and a serene, peaceful look in his eyes. Faint light weakly pierces the window, shyly peeking through the torn-up curtains. Is there a door here? Hmm. It's locked. The Prideful Poet, 1742. The painting of a man wearing a feathered hat and a prideful smug smirk on his lips. Artificial flowers remain untouched, covered in a thick layer of ashy dust. Well, this one's open. 
I never liked these hunting trophies. They don't like you either. Okay. Partially covered in spiderweb, the trophy hangs on the wall, stripped of any of its former glory. The ram's slit-shaped pupils stare blankly, devoid of any light or life. Who is it? Are they slamming it shut again? That's kind of cool. You scared me. Oh, I'm sorry. I just got a bit too excited. Mind your manners, miss. That's not the kind of behavior we're expecting of a young lady like you. Uh, what? Dinner of the Fittest, 1557. The painting of a group of cheerful people indulging in a hearty feast. Are you a lamp too? Really? Um. Yeah, all right. Are you alright? Oh, miss, you wouldn't believe what has happened to me. I've lost my head. What happened? I, I was close. I've lost my precious rosary. I absolutely cannot live without it. I've looked everywhere for it, but I couldn't find it. It's alright, miss. I'll help you. So please don't cry, alright? Oh, thank you, miss. Thank you. You're welcome. Chasing Rumor, 1623. A dark path extends to the depths of the painting, clouded in mystery and cold tones. Forgotten Poet, 1742, the painting of a man wearing a feathered hat, his facial features blended into an unrecognizable blur. Hmm. Is this... Is this the back part of... Oh, there's a courtyard. Okay. Swan? It's a white swan. Well, it's an ugly duck. Oh, can I not get that way? Okay. Mm -hmm. There's another door. These all exit outside, I guess. Get into this hallway from this side. I don't think pumpkins. Look, guys, there's someone here. Hello there, young lady. Aren't you early to the party? What party? You don't know about the party? Hey, guys, she doesn't know about the party. <laughs> okay. How come you don't know about the party? What are you doing here, then, little girl? Oh, I'm just. You should go to the party now that you're here. Ah, I. You never know, miss. You might just find your prince charming. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure, man, whatever. I think this is the locked door. And now I've unlocked it. Okay. So then where does this lead? Okay, so I can't get to this part of the courtyard. Let's go ahead and save. Say that earlier. Whoa. Getting eternal darkness vibes. Why does it make a splashy sound when I step here? Huh. A narrow mirror hangs on the wall, its surface covered in grime. Oh, anywhere there's a mirror. Okay. 
in jail? Is she not here? In jail? Say her name three times. Oh, okay. I need to get out of here. Do we? Crystalline water pools undisrupted in the ceramic bathtub. The rosary. Aha. Uh -huh. Here it is. Oh, that's probably not good. What happened? What is that? We don't want to find out. Not here for that party. It's locked. Wrapped by old cobwebs, the grandfather clock stands lost in a deep sleep. I don't want to get too close. Same. Whoops. You know what? Come back. I want to look at it. It was just a statue. Hmm. Okay. Magnificent Trot, 1718. Two beastly horses engage in a heated battle, fighting for supremacy. The Misunderstood Poet, 1742. Painting of a man wearing a feathered hat and a sad, grieving expression. Miss? Huh. Where'd you go? Miss, where did you go? Oh, dang. I'll leave it here. She might come back. Who are you? Ghost party. A party? Yeah, you didn't know about the party? Oh, nobody told you about the party. It is a great pleasure to attend this gathering. I've been looking forward to this party for the whole past month. I'm finally old enough to join the other guests in their adult conversations. I wonder why there are so many women at the party. Isn't that quite strange? A little bit, but I didn't think much of it. I see, perhaps it's just me. Please, never mind. I've never seen you around here before. Are you a new guest? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I am. Hmm. Do you know what I hate about this type of gathering? You can't avoid bumping into old acquaintances. Ignorant ones at that. I see. Thank you, guest, eh? Seems I only opt for the force a smile and indulge in the white wine again. At least the wine won't try to impose its presumptuous opinions on me. The ladies look beautiful tonight, don't you think? Yes, all of the dresses are so pretty. Right, right, the dresses, of course. What's so funny? Oh no, don't mind me. It seems you're yet too young to understand my reasoning, that's all. Why would you say that to a little girl? Oh my, what nice long hair you have. Oh, thank you. I wish I had hair like yours, but unfortunately I'm not like you. What do you mean? It's nothing. A girl wouldn't understand. I'm just an empty silhouette inside a dress. Okay. Oh, and who are you? We haven't seen you around. Oh, I'm just... I'm, a uh, Maybe in jail? You must be one of the servants, right? Uh, sure, yeah, man. There are quite a few acquaintances present here tonight, so it's become a good chance to chat the night away. Don't say that to guest A. Don't you feel more at ease when you're surrounded by people you're familiar with? Yes, it does make me feel better. I wouldn't have come to this tedious party if it weren't for the host's kind invitation. Too bad he already has a mistress. Don't tell anyone you hear me. Don't worry, I won't. Are you one of the servant girls? Oh no, I'm not. Would you please fetch me a glass of wine? Thank you. Oh, okay. I told you I wasn't, but whatever. Bursting out of their vase, the arrangement of roses graces the room with its fragrance. What? Welcome, my precious guests, to the annual High League Private Gathering. As you all know, we're gathered here today to celebrate our bonds as friends and partners. The time of prosperity has come, and it must be embraced. Tonight is not a night for negotiations, conflict, or troubles. Tonight is a night to enjoy. It is a night to get away from all of your worries. It's with great... 
shock on the dance floor. Ah. Uh, what is the meaning of this? I believe that dress has been murdered, sir. Everyone, let us calm down. Silence, please. I must ask all the guests to leave this room at once so we can proceed with the investigation. Please leave in an orderly fashion. Butlers, please assist our guests. What's going on? I really know what's going on. What should I do? Investigation time.